Hello people, Jane and Police Mata. Uh, so uh, this is a quick demonstration on GS Kitchen Reloaded. So GS Kitchen Reloaded is a tool by me uh, which uh, allows one to make his own custom ROMs easily. So we first have these four folders. The working folder will be your project folder. The output folder, the packed ROMs will come out here. The original ROM folder, I'll talk about this later, let me take this out of here. Uh, and the tools folder. So let's start the kitchen. First of all, it will require administrative privileges, uh, it will ask you. So on first boot, you are going to. You'll be asked for a username. I'm going to set my username to JNM Marshall, which is my username. Right? Thank you to enter the kitchen. So, first of all, main menu, you'll see JNM Marshall at JNM Software 2012. That's because my username is actually in, in the computer, it is JNM Software 2012. So, let's create a new project. Uh, you have these three options. Let uh, wait. First, I'm going to show you something. If you try to open uh, any option that requires a project, this will happen. This action requires the creation of a project. So let's create a new project. So you'll be warned. This will delete current project. Now select a name for the ROM. I'm going to choose XDA Test Two. This is the second demonstration. So. So you can create ROM from a uh, ROM project from a flashable zip ROM, Odin firmware, and device state, oh, and also system and boot IMG files. Device state is still work in progress, so uh, I'm going to show with fl flashable zip ROM. So with Odin and system IMG, you are going to need um, ext4 unpacker. It's included in the kitchen. So flashable zip ROM. Now, one, put your put your ROM in the original ROM folder and click enter. It must be the only zip file. I'm going to drag my ROM. This is 2.3.6 for Geo. It's the stock ROM. You can use any ROM. So enter. Now this is going to extract the ROM. Let's wait. It may take a little bit. Uh, meanwhile, if the microphone has any noise, it's this is a cheap microphone. I bought it today. Uh, it's not the best, nor one of the best. It's probably one of the worst. But uh, wherever, whatever. So let's wait. It's extracting libraries. Where the fuck is? Is this recording? Oh, sorry. I didn't know it. I didn't see the the frame. Where the the hell is the frame? I can see the damn frame. Meanwhile, alright, oh ROM extracted. Let's go back. Now we can enter ROM settings. You'll see check ROM settings, change ROM displayed name, incremental version, build date, and Wi Fi scan interval. So I'm going to change the ROM displayed name to XDA test, XDA test ROM. This utility also backs up build.prop. You can see that the latest build.prop is here, build.prop.backup at the config folder that is created by the project. Now I'm going to change the the your we are going to check inside the working folder. We got system. Now I'm going to open this with notepad. So notepad build dot I don't want to use Notepad++ at the moment. So XDA test ROM is here, in here. If I install this ROM to my Samsung Galaxy Geo, this this will appear would appear in the on the setting menu. Now, we you can also change the ROM incremental version, the build date, and Wi-Fi scan interval. So now let's go back. Let's check advanced settings. I haven't done much yet. 
Advanced settings has currently only ROM porting options. Uh, now, new folders would will be created: ROM to port and base ROM. You put your base ROM here. Like if you're going to make a, if you want to port a ROM to the Galaxy Geo from Galaxy Ace, uh, and the ROM is based on AOSP 4.2 for Galaxy Ace, then you need. AOSP 4.2 for Galaxy Geo and uh, you put it in base ROM the AOSP based Geo ROM is base ROM and the other ROM based on AOSP is here ROM to port then you just start it and it will automatically port so this was it I haven't done m much yet yet this is all already over 500 lines of batch this is a simple batch script uh, so I'm going to continue programming this I hope I release it soon um, goodbye